What's up, guys? It's this fan here. Uh, I was about to go to bed, actually. I was about to go to bed a little while ago, and uh, I, I just got tipped off about some uh, little bit of a development that's going on. Uh, it looks like... So for those of you who don't know, the classic demo became available for like pre-download. It became unencrypted or whatever um, yesterday. So people started downloading it, and of course, people have found a way to kind of finagle their way in and uh, take a gander at some stuff. So I was sent some screenshots, and I thought it would be cool if we went ahead and looked at them. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of these guys. Um, these were sent to us by a viewer, and... So this is the level 58 plate gear. So this is actually the pre, uh, this isn't the updated blue set. So I don't know what this means. Does this mean that they're going to have the original honor sets in the game whenever the honor system is implemented? Uh, or it could just be happenstance because uh, the original set remains in the game and in other versions of the 1.12 client, you're able to still keep uh, you're, you're able to still keep the the level 58 gear. It doesn't upgrade. It's just a separate set. It's not the same uh, It's not the same item ID. So I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. So Just something interesting something interesting to think about a development to keep your eye on um, <clears throat> I, I've looked at these before this video by the way just so I can kind of get an idea and see, see if this would be worth making a video about but uh, it looks like this is, you know, the, you're outside Nax right here in these screenshots, actually. You're outside Nax right here in these screenshots. Uh, however, there is no Necropolis. This could be a sign of progressive raid content. The Necropolis isn't actually out there. So maybe this is an early sign uh, that they will actually have progressive raid content. This is something that I, uh, I, I think that they're going to confirm for us at BlizzCon, but... Uh, who knows? Might uh might have just been tipped off a little bit here. Um, right here is the is the flight path. This is where this is where your flight lands in Thorium Point in Searing Gorge. So what this probably means is that there's likely going to be a a, a little quest hub here. So this is no, the quest hub. If I remember correctly, the quest hub in Searing Gorge right here uh, is added later on in Vanilla. And the fact that this flight path is here leads me to believe that they're probably going to have these quests in the game from the beginning, which is fine. This is how private servers have done it. Um, this, this is just historically how like it's it's been done in uh, recreations of vanilla. So uh, not surprised to see this, but I thought it'd be something worth looking at. Uh, I think this is just something cool more than anything. Uh, I think these, I mean, he was just taking screenshots of the original character. Let's, let's look at these. Let's look at these. Um, yeah, just, just pictures of the original characters. So these are the models. These are the models of the undead. Torn freaking guy has his eyes closed for the picture. Unbelievable. Uh, troll, troll, female, females, equal opportunity. Okay, good, good. Uh, something interesting here, I mean, you guys will notice classic logo right here, Wild Classic. Okay. Oh, uh, Spirit of Aqua Menace. So check this out. Uh, I actually talked about this item in my progressive itemization video. Uh, I, 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 in my opinion, I, I would like to see progressive itemization. But this, I believe, gets updated in the 1.3 patch. And prior to the 1.3 patch, this actually reduces the mana cost of your spells. Uh, instead of increasing damage and healing. So this is an item. I mean, this is a great item for when you get it, even even with this. But it's uh, like secret OP in the uh, pr uh, prior to the 1.3 patch. So it looks like in the data that they have in the demo, this is updated. So interesting, interesting. Uh, Mortal Strike. This is the updated version of Mortal Strike after 1.6, and we, they already said they're going off a of 1.12 base. So. It's with all the talent reworks in. Talisman of the Binding Shard, I think it's just something cool. Uh, yeah, Talisman of the Binding Shard, for those of you who don't know, uh, only one of these dropped in the whole world. Uh, it dropped for the guild nerfed, and it went to a warrior named Noctin. Uh, and it was an item that wasn't supposed to be 
in the loot table and then Blizzard actually left it in the loot table so they decided hey what let, you know let, let's let him keep it just kind of like a fun little uh, fun little Easter egg Shadowcraft boots are 21 agility nine stamina in the early patches these have intellect on them before they get reworked um, presumably to make them a viable set for druids uh, at least you know that's what uh that's what people you know people druids would have an argument for rolling on them basically uh, judgment crown so the judgment crown is using the 1.9 update stats uh, prior to the 1.9 I believe it's from 1.6 1.7 1.8 they are a uh, they're a healing set they're basically a PvP healing set but they give plus healing and the judgment crown actually gives an insane amount of plus healing I don't remember the exact number but I think it's in the 50s um, and then prior to that it's actually like a ret set but you don't get nobody really saw that on private servers because the only people that really saw that were people who managed to get judgment whenever it dropped an MC before they took it out of the loot table uh, in retail vanilla while emote list I don't see any I, I didn't see any any new emotes or anything here this looks like all the old emotes uh, honor tab is grayed out Thought this was interesting. The honor tab right here is grayed out. I thought this was interesting. The honor tab is grayed out. So what could this mean? Could this mean that the honor system is disabled for the demo? Could this mean that the honor system is not going to be implemented right from the beginning? Who knows? Uh, I, I think there's a lot that could change with the demo. Uh, I, I think there's a lot that could be either specific to the demo or stuff they haven't decided yet. And could change between the demo and the release of the actual game but I, I do think that's interesting the fact that uh, the honor system is grayed out or the honor tab is grayed out uh, oh so you can see here this is a screenshot and, and, and let's look at the differences here I, I played around with this a little bit uh, just kind of looking back and forth but they have the BFA water or the the retail water retail shading in the background look at the clutter Okay, it's showing you the difference in graphic settings. Those of you guys who don't already know, and, and this was released a little bit earlier today, is there's a there's a classic settings. You can press a button, and it just makes your it makes your graphics like classic, uh, or you can crank your graphics up and I guess use some of the newer uh, technologies like the shading and the water and whatnot. No, no new models. Uh, I didn't see any options for new models in these screenshots. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming there's not going to be any new models, but um, but updated graphics. My kind of rule of thumb with like updated textures and, and shaders and stuff like this, the the textures and shaders and stuff like that doesn't particularly give you a competitive advantage if you're using the BFA versions uh, or anything like that. It's not new animations. It's not new models. It doesn't change the feel of the game uh, for anyone other than it's client side, right? And it doesn't give them an advantage to use them uh, as opposed to using the classic look, right? So uh, I guess this is like fully maxed out, like high or ultra, ultra high. Like what is this? There's, there's high, there's ultra, and there's ultra high, dude. It's like freaking extra medium. Like I, I, don't, I don't understand why that even exists. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so it looks like this is like souped up graphics, uh, souped up graphics mode. And then this is classic graphics mode. Yeah, this is classic graphics mode. When we press the classic button, I guess it takes you to this, like low, low, disabled, whatever. Um, pretty interesting though. Like look at the difference between these two. See this, look at the background. Look at the trees in the background. So you still kind of have that classic look. The clutter is different. Look at the clutter, look at right here and right here, okay. See how the clutter is different? Some of the bushes change, the water changes, of course. Uh, but you still have that vanilla look available to you. Uh, and then, of course, the the shadow right here is just a circle. So you have the circle shadow. I guess shadow quality low sets it to that. Um, yeah, and then over here you have the like wrath shadows or whatever. So yeah, um, I'm okay with that. That doesn't affect the gameplay experience. It's client side. Uh, they don't get a competitive advantage. Uh, I, d I do have a beef with that, with like updated models slash animations. Um, 
nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Text, sound. Okay, so a lot of the menu is basically like, it's very similar to the retail menu. Um, like post processing, multi, like, yeah, this is like, you know, max and, yeah, background for Ren FPS. Pretty similar to the, to the retail menu, which, I mean, we knew that they were stripping the retail client down. This is something that a lot of people foresaw. Uh, auto loot is a thing. I, I don't know, a lot of people make a big deal about auto loot. I've always auto looted in vanilla. Like, I, I just hold the shift key and I auto loot. So, we're not always, but, but, you know, as far back as I remember auto loot, being able to auto loot, I just shift right click. So, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know about this. I, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. Like, I'll just shift right click anyway. I don't know. Status text on display numeric value. I wonder if you can target an enemy and it gives you the numeric value for their health. Because in vanilla WoW, you actually have to have an add-on that gives you the health the health values of your targets. It's not something built into the UI. I wonder if they change that. That'll be interesting to, to watch for, but that's there. These are the accessibility settings. I mean, everybody kind of foresaw there being some kind of colorblind mode or whatever. It's not really a big deal. Raid profiles. What is this? These raid frames? This might be left. I mean, this this is kind of scuffed. I don't know if this is just like leftover interface clutter or if there's actually going to be raid frames. I guess there are raid frames. There were raid frames in vanilla as well, but they were like absolutely terrible. But I'm interested to see use raid style party frames. This might be leftover clutter from from the retail client. Uh oh, this is a big boy. One of the things that a lot of people have been, I, I dude, I, I didn't even make a video about the second water cooler thing. I've I've been so busy trying to get my stuff situated for for TwitchCon and uh, BlizzCon. There's there's a lot going on for me. Um. There's a lot going on for me. So I've been trying to get my TwitchCon stuff situated. I will be at TwitchCon, of course, and then I'll be at BlizzCon the next week. So if you guys see me there, make sure to come say hi. Okay, that'll be fun. But, um, but yeah, anyway, this is something a lot of people have been worried about is wall climbing. If you're still going to be able to wall climb and it looks like that's going to be the case here. Look at this. Boop, boop, boop. And he goes over here. And he does a little climberino. Look at this. Climb, climb, climb. Look at that. Falls through Stormwind. Just like the good old days. Right there, buddy. Look at that. So yeah, falls right through Stormwind. Uh, what else here? I see Blue Mechanist Rider. Oh, uh, okay. So something else that is a, uh, this is a big boy right here. Requires Mechano Strider piloting one. Not riding skill. Mechano Strider piloting. The system was changed in Vanilla WoW. The, the early mount system, I guess, mount training system in Vanilla WoW uh, was different than it was later on in Vanilla WoW. Originally, you paid very little for the training, and then you played a lot for the mounts. That's what looks like is going on here. So really weird. I mean, you have 1.9, like, you have 1.12 talents, you have the 1.9 tier 2 update on the Paladin helmet that they showed. And then you have this that was like in the game in the beginning of Vanilla WoW and then got changed later on. So again, this is stuff that they might have not even touched yet. Because obviously, these are not things that, that Blizzard was really expecting people to, to get to see or even mess around with, right? Uh, seeing as how the demo is from level 15 to 19 only. Which is kind of interesting to keep an eye on. Like people who played on private servers haven't even seen this. Because uh, this is something that, that was going on like pretty early in the game's lifespan. So this is pretty cool to see. Actually, this is very cool to see. This is the like appeal, help, support. This is the help button for BFA. It's the same in BFA and Legion. So this is the, I mean, I guess they've just basically like taken the, the same kind of interface for uh, submitting reports, which probably sounds about right if they have the GM team using the same... Like, if they're responding to the tickets the same way. I wonder if they're going to have a separate GM staff for Classic and separate GM staff for... I wonder. I wonder how that's going to go. Uh, let's see. What else here? 
Uh, more more BFA style key bindings. Death charges reigns. This is something else that goes along with the mount stuff that, that we looked at before. Uh, this does not require any skill. In uh, you know by the end of vanilla, this actually requires 150 skill. So again, this kind of goes back to looking at maybe maybe we might have the original mount system in the game, uh, or they just haven't haven't fixed it yet or figured it out yet. Maybe it's just something they're playing around with. Uh, that's something I personally I don't foresee that happening. I think they're just going to go with the the end game mount system. The you know the the what ended up being the mount system towards the end of vanilla. Pretty interesting. Something something really interesting to keep an eye on. High Warlord's Battle Axe. These are the updated. This is the updated High Warlord's Battle Axe. Updated stats. Uh, 77 point. You know what? Here's something else about weapon DPS. It only goes to the 10th place. It doesn't go to the 100th place. In, uh, in, in vanilla. In retail vanilla, it didn't do that. So it was 77.4. So... It's over. Dream is dead, dude. Dream is dead. It's 3-7 instead of 4, so... No, it's the same It's the same damage. I'm being silly. Um, it's the same damage. It's just a more exact number. I don't know. That, that might have been just uh, some carryover from downporting the client. Uh, okay. Okay. Of course. Of course. 4.0 speed. 239 top end damage. Okay. Very nice. Um, the Wrath Helmet and Weapon Skills. The skills are in the game. Uh, well, it looks like they're not like tuned but these are in the game and that is it so anyway uh these were kind of sent to us and i thought this would be something cool to share with you guys and i am very very excited for this demo and just to kind of see like a uh, an actual product and get my own hands on it and just to really see like you know what all what all they come out with i mean for all we know uh, you know, nothing in here is final. A lot of this stuff is probably stuff that Blizzard really didn't intend anybody to look at, and it's probably completely experimental. Uh, whether it's like different stats for items or this or that, and nobody really knows. Uh, but, like I said, these screenshots were sent to us. I thought they were pretty interesting. Fairly happy. I'm fairly happy with this so far. Uh, nothing too crazy. It's funny, the, the graphic settings with the sliders, I think I talked about this in an early, cl in an early classic cast. Uh, I actually thought they would do something like that where you would be able to have like the original graphic settings and then if you just like turn the sliders up uh it would just be like higher resolution uh yeah i mean that's that's basically what it looked like to me i mean it was you know high resolution shaders and a little bit extra clutter and stuff but if you want your classic look you got your classic look and uh you don't miss out on any sort of competitive advantage or anything that i can think of maybe i'm wrong but uh anyways guys if you like classic content if you like me if you like my channel i'd really appreciate it if you sub to my channel and you can see more classic stuff you can see more stuff from me you should check out my twitch streams twitch.tv slash sfantv sfantv on every platform discord facebook twitter instagram you name it i'll see you guys soon